wanted to share my little studio. I wanted to show some of my more recent works and things I've been working on for an upcoming exhibit and then showing images of uh, what I've been making the past, I guess the past year. I work in various processes varying from sonotypes, drawing and painting, sculptural stuff, works on paper and installations and ceramics lately. So my work is inspired by nature, the sciences and cosmos. Um, you know, growing up my father was a commercial fisherman, so along the coast of California and I would always see him bring things up from the ocean and um, I would spend a lot of time in his boat so a lot of spend a lot of time in the water so I was always I think that's what inspired me to really think and imagine what's you know under the ocean um, and it wasn't until say like later in my life that I realized like how much that really played a role into my I guess inspiration for making Work. So my works in general is kind of referencing the micro and macro worlds. We're looking into a microscope is very similar looking to like a telescope. Um, so I really see my images as a play between the two worlds. One of the processes I've been working on was, I guess, developed in the late 90s when I was in undergrad. Uh, it's a photo-based painting process. So what I do is I start with mylar and um, I think in reverse, and I've been doing this for so long that I could kind of have a general idea of what the colors are going to be. And I'm using pencils, color pencils, markers, watercolors, acrylic inks, and uh, so on the top side of the mylar it's usually done in pencil and then on the back I do, uh, that's where I paint and draw with markers and uh, use pigment on that and actually use salt on the watercolors to create like a, a pattern on the mylar. Um, so after the piece is printed on, um, you know, I have a printer that I print on. I uh, submerged the, the print in a super saturated salt water solution and let uh, this, you know, salt crystals grow and it really embeds into the paper and you get different kinds of salt crystals growing on the piece and uh, the end result is kind of a, a sparkling print, which is kind of cool. The salt crystals, I feel like, kind of gives it kind of more like a making the piece to me feel more alive because uh, there has been a, you know pieces where you know if it's really humid or there's a lot of moisture in the air like sometimes the salt crystals will disappear because of the moisture in the air and then when it let's say stops raining or becomes super dry again like the crystals will uh, reappear so I kind of like how it's a a living piece.